get, um, what you say about, this is senior week, and to let seniors know, go They're ahead. getting a snack every day at lunch. Just remind them to come on up there and get a snack. They get a snack every day at lunch this week. They have some senior, they have days that things they can wear, and there's some lists posted around the building. If you have any questions, they'll wear a senior t-shirt each day or be one of the theme days. Okay, thank you so much. Um, just reminder, um, senior exams starts on uh, May the 13th. And uh, the seniors who have to take exams may take all of their exams on the 13th if they choose. Um, Friday is a regular school day for all students, including seniors, so it'll be during your class time. They have a window of May the 13th, Tuesday the 17th, and Wednesday the 18th. So they can either do it on the 13th, they don't have to. They can spread it out those three days if they like. We know graduation is May the 21st at 9 o'clock. Um, everyone needs to be in attendance for the graduation. Um, and also, um, we, we've been doing this, the retirement reception. reception. I know for us, We've always um, required everyone to attend. Now it's a countywide thing, okay? For us, we've already required everyone to attend. Now it's a countywide thing. So plan on attending the retirement reception on the 25th. Second semester exams will begin on Friday, May the 20th. You should have a copy of the schedule. Just in case you don't, let me know and we'll resend it. And Ms. Hartman's already uh, sent them out. Um, and you know we don't give exams early. And y'all know the same thing we've been doing with exams. Any, any, uh, I'll be sending out, um, I've got a, just a couple of things I have to do with projection for next year and what you'll be teaching. Um, I've kind of talked to some of the department chairs. We've slung some ideas around, but I'll be sending them out, and then y'all can get together as a department and make whatever whatever adjustments um, that you think are necessary, and then we'll relook at them, and then we'll confirm uh, confirm your teaching assignments for next year. Okay. All right, any questions, concerns? Dr. Gray, just a reminder of the talent party tomorrow, and I'll, I'll be sending it to you. Okay. <laughs> talent party. Well, we'll try to start calling them, kind of like good behavior, short if we can during middle, end of first, and then it'll be second and third and fourth, the last second and fourth. Okay, Mr. Fair. How are they going to handle the, the seniors that aren't showing up for Wednesday on the SLO? Because we only got one day for SLO for seniors. And then we start underclassmen Thursday, Friday, and the rest of the week. We want us on makeup. Um, they know the SLO. We have to remind them the SLO, just like the milestone, is 20% of their grade. Now, the thing with the milestone, we got our fingers crossed that we'll get them, that we'll get them back. Both of them, yeah. <laughs> Feet, legs, everything's crossed. Yeah, we'll get them back. If not, we'll have to go to a, a plan B. I remember the first year they had milestones. We did not get them back, so we just went on ahead. And we ought to be okay because, you know, our milestones, 20% is outside of their uh, final grade. So we'll still give our final exams. If the milestones are back, then it'll be 20 If not, whatever that final grade is, that'll be the final grade. So we'll be okay. Um, if they're not back, but we're hoping we're hoping that they'll be back in time. Any other questions or concerns? <clears throat> Let's keep our foot on the pedal. You know, y'all know I've already had uh, one or two seniors, but well, one that has, you know, just threw away her graduation. Um, y'all know how you know how they get this time of year. So let's just. Keep the pedal, don't, don't start backing up. If we start backing up, then they'll start backing up. Good thing for us, was a good thing for us is the milestone, the timing of the milestone, it's not like we had it three weeks ago and everybody's shutting down. So the timing of the milestone helps us 
stay focused, but um, you know, especially for our uh, seniors and then our underclassmen, uh, we got milestones and finals that pretty much lead up to the end of school. So we should be okay, but let's just keep a, keep an eye on them. We know how they, how they get every year. They think it's over with, and that's when they start uh, messing up. All right, uh, tomorrow I'll have ice cream. I gotta get the list from Ms. Uh, Brantley. Um, for students whose parents did the surveys, so we promised them an ice cream social. And then on Thursday, for the senior class that won the uh, pep rally, during lunch, we'll have an ice cream truck come and uh, we'll give them a ticket and they'll be able to go out and select uh, ice cream off the ice cream truck. So that'll be, uh, yeah, that'll be Thursday. Don't let it be Mr. Ash. <laughs> <laughs> So we got that Thursday during lunch. So we'll get the tickets to you and we'll get them to every senior because they um, won the uh, pep rally and they won the, uh, the uh, first of many um, Relay for Life Battle of the Classes basketball tournament. So, yes ma'am. Supervise it. I think that was a, a, a good success. I know my feet and knees are still thanking us for for uh, changing that format. But I've got a plaque coming. It's going to have the little things that you can change. I mean, you can put it on by year, and then I'm going to order a, a class trophy. And I think we'll set it somewhere where the students can see it, and they'll have that bragging rights until the next game. Those are some good games. I think the seniors barely beat the um, 10th graders like on the last second shot. Yeah. And the ninth graders were lead, leading the juniors um, all the way up to the end. So I think it thought it was going to be a little bit of a mismatch, but I thought that uh, it went pretty, pretty good. And the students were um, involved. Thank the coaches um, and then the officials and everybody for just making that a success. And I think most importantly was we rate, I haven't counted what we brought in Friday, but we, we've done really good with our fundraising. And I'll, when I get all that counted up, and after tomorrow I'll let everybody know how well we did this year. And these to say is for a wonderful cause, and I think that the students, and we appreciate everybody just, just pitching in and, and making this uh, fundraiser, because y'all know it's just for a worthwhile cause. Yes, I, I know the students are going to ask, are they going to be able to buy tickets to go this afternoon at the last minute like they did the game or no? Mm -hmm. yeah. So much for the uh, for relay. The relay. I'm going to let Dr. Gray make that call. Okay, I just didn't know. I know the kids will ask. I, I just, you know, it's really That's tomorrow afternoon? That's tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. 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 T
get their get their tickets that they have yeah. not bought. They have to get a lunch. lunch That's a good idea. Well, we had, and, and, and you know, you learn. You do things and you learn. I think we cut off a little early. And plus, on our all calls, my all call person got was a little bit fired up. So she was just calling. I was like, no, nah, no. Nah. And then it was, just, it was just too late. So that's where the confusion came in. Um, we were trying to do the all call. We were trying to do just that. And next thing I know, it was, so I was like, OK. Well, but y'all made it happen, and we appreciate that. But we'll just slow that all call down, and I think it got a little bit confusing. I don't think so. Any other comments or concerns? So now it's going to still aren't working. It's going to need to send out a repetitive email. <coughs> when it works, I'll send you one. But they're, they're still not working. Mr. Adams, I'll be sending you something like this. That's above my pay grade. Yeah, OK. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we still have the manual ones, so we always do that as a backup anyway. So if you have the the um, ones on paper, just read those out in class. And y'all know the format with the pledge and all of that kind of stuff. Uh, if you have not um, seen me for your um, summative conference, please uh, do so sometime today so we go ahead and knock those out. It's only a handful of us. Um, and as always, appreciate all of your hard work and, and uh, getting us to this point uh, in the year and more to follow on that. Any other concerns or comments? I, I yes, have one. Um, I sent out an email for textbook orders. If you guys have, I know it's Spanish adoption year, but if you have any resources that you guys want with your classes, like novels or books, <coughs> and now's the time to get them because I just submit them and they order. And I've only gotten something from two people with easier to get it now than it is when school starts next year. So I'll send another email out, but if there's any resources that you're wanting, I attach the form to the email you need to just print out the web page with the, all the information on it for Kayla Jackson, or give me a copy of your catalog that you're ordering from. Um, so I'll go ahead and turn it in for you so Ms. Jackson can get that in. And it's resources on textbooks. They're, they're slow step in textbooks because again, we get into some more standards. So there's a slow step in ordering textbooks until the new standards are out, and then we can make sure whatever we order matches um, matches the new standard. All right? All right. Nothing else. Thank you for your time. Make sure you sign in, please. I think it's close around. Have a great day.